The way you speak to someone can have lasting impressions. We start deciding who people are within the first few seconds. Tracy Goodwin, creator of Psychology of the Voice, has three tips on how to unleash your most powerful asset, your voice. For starters, you're trying too hard. Most people are really trying to get the words right. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say, so I'm thinking about the words. And while you're fumbling over the right words, people usually tune out. And so what do we do when people tune out? We give more words, and that's the worst thing we can do. Instead of talking at people, make sure you're having a conversation with them, even if it's in a meeting or a presentation. If we can just get grounded and have a conversation and trust that we have the words, it's like unkinking the garden hose. Now, all of a sudden, all the perfect words flow. Next, modulate your voice. Every seven seconds, our brain tells us to check out. Subconsciously, something in our brains says, Look over there. Hey, check that. The biggest problem is predictability. We say everything the same way. So take advantage of the five elements of vocal variety to create an emotional and unpredictable experience. The most powerful of all the elements is pause. Then we have elongation on a word, which shows degrees of emotion. Then volume, speed, and pitch. That's where the trust is built. Finally, your voice sets the tone. So if you come in and you're like this with a heavier tone and you're setting up irritation or you're frustrated or you're just fit to be tied. We tend to back away and not listen. But when we can go with a lighter tone, friendlier tone, a more conversational tone, it causes people to lean in. Since you've set a more welcome tone, this could lead to others being more open and willing to work with you. It's really about becoming responsive rather than reactionary using your voice to bridge a world of connections.